In this video, we're going to do a practice question on horizontal alignment, specifically for transition curves. The question is, a two-lane highway, one 3.6 metre lane in each direction, with a design speed of 100 kilometres per hour, goes from normal crown with a 2% cross slope to 6% super elevation by means of a spiral transition curve. The spiral curve is 60 metres long. If the super elevation is attained by rotating the road section around its centre line, draw a cross section of the road at 10, 20 and 50 metres from TS. The text that I underlined in the previous slide is now shown here in bold. Our solution approach is to calculate the tangent runout length calculate the height at crown rate, calculate the height at full super elevation, and then using these known values that we've calculated, we can use similar triangles to calculate the height at 10 meters, 20 meters, and 50 meters from TS. Let's extract the required information from the question. We're told that each lane is 3.6 meters in width, Therefore, the width of the road must be 3.6 metres times 2, because it's a two-lane highway. We're also told that the design speed is 100 kilometres per hour. A normal crown has a 2% cross slope, and the super elevation, in this case, is 6%. We're also told that the length of the spiral curve is 60 metres and the road section is rotated around its centre line. This is the diagram of a transition curve. So at the start here, we have a normal crown, therefore N and N being, in our case, C% percent and C%. Percent. Then when the transition curve starts, at TS, the uppermost side of the road will be level, i.e. 0%, and the bottom or rightmost lane will be at crown rate, C%. Percent. At the end of the transition curve, full super elevation is reached of E%. Percent. This is a technical drawing of the transition curve and it's specifically for when the road section is rotated around the centre line. This line here represents the centre line of the road, labelled CL. TS denotes this line here, which is the start of the transition curve, and SC denotes this line here which marks the end of the transition curve. So the transition curve goes from here to here. Now, a transition curve starts when the left side of the road is at 0% slant and the right side is still at C% percent or crown rate. A transition curve ends when a full super elevation has been reached when the left side of the road is at E percent and the right side of the road is at E percent. Before a transition curve starts there's a uh, distance called the tangent runout when the road develops from a normal crown or a normal profile of the road to when the adverse crown is removed. Now we are quite lucky that this tangent runout is actually equal to this distance here, uh, which is also the distance required to go from 0% to C%. Percent. Therefore, to go to uh, what would be a positive C% percent to a negative, to a 0, is this distance here. So negative C% percent to 0, and to go from 0 to positive C% percent is this distance here. This distance can be called x, called labelled x up here, so I can label the tangent runout 
x as well. I can also find out the height of each side of the road. Um, this upper edge here refers to the left pavement and this edge here refers to the right pavement therefore if you look at it as you know this being the center line of the road and we're looking at a profile view of the road this would be the left side this would be the right side at crown rate where this is c percent and also this is c percent so the height at which i'd call y1 this height would refer to this height here um, and if you look at the equation w over 2 just refers to half the length of the road we'll see later on in the question that we can use this triangle here to calculate any of the heights or distances or we won't although we won't be calculating distances in this question um, we can use this triangle to calculate any height or distance after we know the relationship between x and cw over 2 which gives us this distance and this distance so let's move on and answer this question Let's go ahead and use our known relationships to calculate lengths and widths. So x is the tangent run out length, and that's equal to ls, which is the length of the spiral curve, times c, the crown rate, over e. ls times c over e is equal to 60 times c, now we have to represent C in decimal form over E, which is 0 0.06. Here I've got C, E, and LS. Putting this into my calculator, I get 20 meters. X equals to 20 meters. For the height at crown rate, y at c percent so this is equal to this value here c 0 0.02 times w 7.2 over 2 putting this into my calculator i get 0 0.072 and my height at super elevation is equal to e 0 0.06 times w 7.2 over 2. Putting this into my calculator, I get 0 0.216. This slide just shows the working out from the previous slide um, in a typed out form. Now that I have a few figures, I can put them into my diagram. So x is equal to 20 meters. This height is equal to 0.072 and this one is equal to 0.216. To calculate the height at 10 meters from TS, which is around here, and the height would be about this high, I can use my similar triangles because I know taking that triangle out, this, I want to know this height, y10, 
This is the width along the triangle, 10 meters. This height at 20 meters would be 0 0.072. Therefore, using similar triangles, y10 over 10 be equal to 0 0.072 over 20. y10 would be 0.036 meters. Similarly, for y20, I already know what this is because at x equals 20 meters, it's the crown rate. Therefore, y20 is simply equal to 0 0.072. And then at y50, I can again use similar triangles. because I know this relationship at uh, 20 metres, x equals 20. Putting this into my calculator, I get y50 is equal to 0 0.180 metres. This slide just shows the working out from the previous slide in typed out form. So now I can draw my super elevation diagram and I can show the development from a normal crown to when the adverse crown is removed to when the crown rate is again achieved and then when the super elevation is finally achieved I can show how I go from the start to the end of my spiral curve at 60 meters long and what uh, width sorry, what height we have along the way at 10 metres, 20 and 50. This diagram is what would be required to answer the question. Also, I can write, therefore, the height at 10 metres from TS is 0 0.036 metres. 20 metres from TS is 0 0.072 metres and 50 metres from TS is 0 0.18 metres. Thanks for watching this question and good luck.